is the Canadian version of Plural TV better than the American version? <laughs> no! But I'm the antenna man. So I reached out to Robbie Strike. Robbie in Canada. We got Robbie. He's on the air and are listening in Ontario. Go ahead, Robbie. Ah, it's a snake! This speed bump is the speed bump of doom. <laughs> See that? Oh, God. <laughs> so to explain to your wife how, to, how this will benefit you, you say, honey, if we get the free satellite TV, satellite dishes, we'll get tons of free channels. We won't have to pay monthly fees. We'll be able to, we'll be able to uh, save hundreds of dollars a month uh, by not paying for cable. This will be great. Th these things here, they're not ugly at all. They're absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful satellite dishes. They're amazing. They pull in free satellite TV channels. It's a great thing. You'll love it. We'll get uh, channels that you'll enjoy. We'll get Me TV. We'll get Cozy TV. We're going to get Decades, Heroes and Icons, and all sorts of great channels like that. Okay, okay, stop yelling at me. Stop yelling at me. The neighbors are going to hear. Stop yelling at me. It's just one more satellite dish. It's just one more satellite dish. Just another 10 foot satellite dish that I want to put over there. Well, that saves us a lot of money, honey. That's like, we're, you know, we're not paying a hundred dollars in cable. We, you know, I paid a few hundred dollars for that thing secondhand. And now we save a lot of money. We can get all, all our free ch channels for free and, and not have to pay for cable and uh, pay our mortgage off quickly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're so smart, honey. It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll work even better than my eight foot. Today on Obsolete But Neat, we're gonna look at the Magnajector. Woo! Ha 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 The Magnajector. Oh yeah! There is. There's the cat there. And it's projecting nicely onto the wall with the yellow. It's $5,000. <laughs> There's a cat. I'm being attacked by a cat. It may cost. <laughs> it may. No, no, he's hurt my leather. <laughs> My fake leather. <laughs> that dish can receive C. I've been attacked by a cat. I like dishes. That dish can receive C. I've been attacked by a cat. I like dishes. That dish can receive C. I've been attacked by a cat. Deep seep, 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 deep seep. I've been attacked by a cat. Just what the world needs is more hot air. <laughs> it's hard to blow up the world, man. And you can come to my YouTube channel where I have lots of information about free to air and satellite and over the air antenna stuff. All right, a little tip for the winter time. If uh, you get snow stick to your satellite dish, you can take some Pam cooking spray, basically anything with oil, cooking oil, uh, olive oil. It basically, you take that and you can spray it on your satellite dish and it'll prevent the snow from sticking to your dish. So we're gonna do that right now. Right there we go. And that would protect your dish from uh, accumulating snow if, uh, if uh, snow were to stick on. You won't have to go out for broom and brush it off. And it saves you from having to go out in the cold on a snowy day. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Yes, I am. 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 Y
I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, so it's been a few weeks since I sprayed the pan cooking spray on this dish, and I can see that there is still snow sticking to it. Uh, although I can see that the snow has kind of fallen off more easily, depending on how uh, how warm it is outside. This is kind of a warm early snow, uh, fluffy snow. Um, the sa both the satellite dishes are working right now if, with snow on the dish. That's another myth about KU Bad Satellite is if there's a little bit of snow on the dish, it's not going to work at all. Uh, this dish here is get still getting signal through. Uh, this one, I'm missing a few of the channels, the uh, LLBN, because I have this one pointed at Galaxy 19. But even still, it's, uh, it's still working. Mm. Fresh off my dishes. Hello, beautiful. Hello, Anthony. How much did I save on using an antenna and satellite this month? About 160. Done. I don't have antenna or satellite TV, but cable company, buy me money. I got you a dollar. Ooh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Ooh, it's a C band satellite dish. Ooh, you could use it to pick up TV channels and radio channels for free. Ooh. has told everybody that these those things don't work anymore, but they do! You get hundreds of free channels on this! Ooh! these old Shaw Direct dishes for free satellite TV to get a few KU band channels. Ooh! Ooh! It's a KU band satellite dish! Echo! Echo! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! You can watch KU band channels with a smaller satellite dish. Ooh! And sometimes satellite dishes have a motor on it for the dish to move to different satellites so you can watch more TV channels. Ooh! Ooh! And some satellite dishes have actuators, which move the dish from east to west to different satellites. Ooh! Ooh! Come here, puppy! Ooh! Come here, puppy! Ooh, come here, puppy! Why are you so hot, hyper, puppy? You're a very hyper, puppy! Ooh! satellite TV channels with one of these satellite receivers. You plug in the coax cable from the satellite dishes L and B to this using a coax. Ooh! And then you plug into the HDMI cable or the RCA cables on the satellite receiver like this Amico receiver. Ooh! Ooh! Free satellite TV. Ooh! Tell your friends about it. Ooh! And to find out more about free satellite TV, Type in free satellite TV into the internet search engine and type in the name Robbie Strike. R-O-B-B-I-E-S-T-R-I-K-E. -E. And you'll learn about free satellite TV. Ooh! I used to be a real jerk, but now I'm a people guy. <laughs> I love free satellite TV. Ooh, ooh, hee, hee, hee. <laughs> No, you are, but what am I? <laughs> say it! Say it! Say it! Say it! I like free satellite TV. <laughs> Hello, I'm Weird Walter, and Blippi, I am your father. <laughs> I am your father. I am your father. <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> hey kids, look! It's an antenna man! You can put an antenna up and get free TV channels with an over-the-air antenna! Woo! Woo! Is the Canadian version of Plural TV better than the American version? <laughs> No! No, it's not! <laughs> Why do we always get the short end of the stick? <laughs> For crying! <laughs> Daddy's wondering what's going on. Mwah. It's time now for the Antenna Show. Yeah, we're gonna review the Antop UFO. It's a UFO antenna. Yeah, an omnidirectional antenna. Yeah. What the hell is this? What are you doing here? You're reviewing antennas now? Yeah, everyone's reviewing antennas now. But I'm the antenna man. Good for you, bro. There can't be two antenna mans. I'm the satellite guy, but I also like antennas. Uh, stick to satellites. I got a I got an antenna growing oh, out of no, my head. No, look no, at no. Me. If you look at my YouTube icon, I got an antenna out of my head. <laughs> I know. I got I an know, antenna growing out of my head. <laughs> All right, I got the Antop UFO back. I took it. Those Americans, they think they have the right to everything and they think they can come to Canada and tell us what to do and what not to do. But I got the antenna back and uh, I'm gonna review it right now. All kidding aside, uh, that was, uh, you probably would recognize that guy as Tyler, the antenna man. Uh, he's got a great channel here on YouTube as well. Uh, uh, just a quick note, if you get uh, do unboxing videos, make sure you cover your address so that uh, no stalkers will come to your house, okay? Gosh, look at this box. Look at how they tape this thing up here. Get your exacto. And we're in. Problems or questions, we can help. Support, all right. Whoop. Here it is. <laughs> UFO antenna. All right. There it is there. That's the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a cable connection on the fr on the top and a cable connection on the bottom. I think maybe it has like a, oh yeah, it has like a, a VHF element that would screw on the top. Okay. So we got this thing here. And I'm pretty sure looking at the picture of this thing, this thing goes, I don't know if you need to attach that or just pushes on and then you oh you have to unscrew that okay i'll get a screwdriver to fit that on there all right what else do we have here the, some paperwork uh, you got your some uh, coax cable for connecting it up um the manual very good read the manual this thing so you can attach the in gotta tighten that so you can attach the antenna onto your roof and uh, 
Don't drill it into your head. This is just a joke. But uh, just attach it to your roof uh, and you, or any place where you'd want to attach it. And you can... And here is the preamp. That's it there. And this is one of the things. What you, what you do with these, if you don't know, you find like a, a plug in your wall and you fit this in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you power your antenna uh, with the uh, amplifier. And uh, definitely with these amplifiers, they tend to make the uh, reception a lot better. Here's some wing nut things. These will allow you to either put it to a pole. There we go. Has its uh, warranty, promotional stuff too. You can check that out when you buy one of these things. All right, the parts it comes with is you'll have this part here. Uh, you'll have the manual, the documentation. Uh, you'll have this part here, which is probably for your VHF. And it looks like it has screws, so you have to unscrew here and tighten it up. I'll just double check the manual. Uh, your cable, uh, your power supply, and your um, um, amplifier power supply. And uh, how all these things will work is uh, it will send uh, the, the uh, you plug it into your house, so inside your house, uh, when you have near where you have this uh, connected to your TV or your splitter. And uh, this will run the power up to the amplifier that's inside the antenna. And it does have a, uh, a cell phone uh, interference uh, um, blocker so that it can help uh, so that your antenna is not over amplifying signals that you don't want. All right, man, you, a lot of you men might uh, have a wife that doesn't want you to put like a giant 10 foot directional Yagi antenna with a giant tower in your house and you just want the local channels or whatever. You, 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 you tell your wife, I, I want to put up a giant antenna and she's like, no, 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 no. So show her one of these uh, end tops and they're like a little bit less impact they're not going to work as well, but these work pretty decently for the size of an antenna that they are. And you, you might have your wife approve of over one of these antennas instead of one of those big antennas, those big directional Yagi antennas, um, which is a huge over the you know, huge uh, setup. And your might, wife might just disapprove. So one of these is probably a good one to get. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 Stop yelling at me about the big antenna. Stop yelling at me about the 10 foot antenna. I'm gonna put up the uh, this little land top antenna, okay? I'm gonna put up the land top telling. Stop yelling at me. The neighbors are gonna hear us, okay? Stop yelling, the neighbors will hear. Okay, I'm putting this up, okay? I did a little test inside uh, with the uh, UFO antenna. It was not performing as well as the end top big boy. Uh, I was able to get our local VHF channel for in my area and but I wasn't able to get the UHF channel PBS which I was able to get in this location I and I tried moving the antenna around to different locations to see if I could get picture but I wasn't able to get it so uh, it's a smaller antenna so I only really got one channel inside in my basement so we'll take it out and we'll t uh, test it uh, a little bit above the roof So it took me a few uh, few days. Uh, I had to get uh, order a clamp uh, for my pole because it's uh, a skinny pole. <laughs> uh, usually, the uh, when people are using a pipe or a pole to um, attach an antenna, they're probably using a thicker one, especially to get higher height. Uh, when you're, if you're using masting, uh, I'm just using these poles here. They have the little button things to hold like the five foot poles together. So I'm going to stack about three of them. So I'll get about 15 feet. Give this a test to see if we can pull in uh, just as many channels as I did with the Antop Big Boy. This is a great tip if you uh, don't want to get up on your roof. Uh, you may have to get up to your roof with a ladder and uh, uh, secure it 
to it but a, a nice tip to do is be able to have your antenna so you can turn it just a little bit because they might be stations in a different direction although this antenna is an omnidirectional antenna but i'm still when i set it up i am gonna move it around to put it in the most optimum place so that i can get the most uh, all the channels because sometimes you might want to move it around and and uh, make sure you got it in the most optimum place uh be safe uh, if you're gonna climb up on your roof don't do this during a lightning storm <laughs> and uh also make sure you ground your antenna. So an uh, important thing, uh, you can get like, these uh, three foot ground uh, copper ground rods. You can ha hammer in the ground or you might have your, your house's ground and just run a wire to that so that you, uh, if there is a lightning strike, it will ground it safely. Uh, and there's probably other, uh, more information online uh, for safety information on that you should really look up into if you're uh, installing an antenna. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go up with this thing here. Uh, so other uses for this as well. And if you don't want an antenna, you could use it as a drum too, right? Hello, beautiful. Hello, Anthony. How much did I save on using an antenna and satellite this month? About 160. Done. I don't have antenna or satellite TV, but cable company, find me money. I got you a dollar. Ooh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i got about three poles here i got the cable coax cable and i've connected it to the connector on the end top so that's what it's going to look like to get it on this pole i had to get this this a couple of these things here and put it on that way to uh connect it to the pole UFO flying above your house. There's an ant top UFO above your house. There's an ant top UFO above your house. Ah, an alien! Ah! <laughs> Pesky human! <laughs> We've come to rule your planet and take away your resources. <laughs> ah! I will let you keep your your pesky little lies and watch your television. <laughs> as long as you bow and you ah. kneel before the UFO operator guy. <laughs> and first, you have to do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! Come on! Do it! Okay. okay. Uh. Atari. All right, so you just uh, connect the cable up to the amplifier. This is very important and key to having your antenna working. And also make sure you take this plug and make sure it's plugged in to your adapter. Plugged in, you'll have a little light to indicate that it's on. make it any any trickier spot to get at back this guy in here all right and your amplifier should be plugged into the TV like that and it should be green if you hit the switch it'll be yellow that means the amplifier is not amplified but actually a nice thing about this is you may be over amplifying so you could try it with both settings but probably your best bet, most likely, will be the green light. And then you uh, go to your TV set, and these buttons here, if you don't have the remote, sometimes they're at the back of the TV, you go into your menu, and you do a channel scan. Now, I've done a video separately uh, on all the uh, 
on how to do a uh, channel scan uh, with an antenna. I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. So I did a comparison of the different antennas. The Antop Big Boy outperformed the UFO, but the UFO still was able to pick up channels. And one thing else I'd like to state is that Antop did send me this 360 antenna along with other antennas that I have from Antop. Uh, this is They did not pay me to do this video, but they did provide the antennas for me to review and test to give them a fair review. Full disclosure, I guess this is a uh, what they would call a sponsored video because of that. So I tried it out on the HD home run and channel eight came in pretty decently, which is channel seven, but not as good as the uh, big boy. All these channels didn't come in as, as good as the big boy. And some channels I had to move the uh, Antop big boy around just to optimize the position of the antenna to lock on, but you'll have to do that with every antenna. And one point I did find out in doing this, even though it's an omnidirectional antenna, I did have to move it to different positions. On channel UHF channel 26, I got about almost 100%, but about 69% uh, signal quality. On channel 50 or 31 UHF, I got about 50% signal quality and signal strength was about 79, 80%. But I did move the antenna around a little bit to try to optimize the signal to get the best possible uh, reception on that and one thing that disappointed me uh, about this antenna I wasn't able to get the uh, WNBC or the NBC affiliate out of Watertown New York which I was able to get with the and top big boy and channel 14 which has Fox 68 which is on 68.1 but the uh, actual channel is channel 14 it also has uh, my TV and dabble and uh, they scan in as channel 43.1 And VLC does not work as well as it used to in Linux with the HD Home Run for whatever reason. So please, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you in your in the comments what you think of this antenna. This is not this is a sponsored video, but I'd like to hear your input on it. And and Antop would like to hear your input about these antennas as well. So um, feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, and uh, in, the, in the in the bottom of this video and um, let us know if you've tried different antennas, what worked for you. Uh, we'd love to hear that. Woo! Flippy's folding his diapers for his, for his babies. These are cloth diapers. What they do is you can put them in the washing machine and you don't have to throw the diapers in the garbage and you can reuse them. Ooh! It's better for the environment. Ooh! So you take the insert, this part here, and you stick it into the, into the bum of the diaper and you stick your hand up into the diaper. <laughs> and if you have big hands, it might be a little tricky. And there, the diaper's folded. I put it in the pile and I do another one. Woo! Take the insert and you take it in. This diaper's bigger, so it's easier to get Lippy's hand into it. There we go. And you can do it. And there, you got a, you got your diaper. <laughs> and you put it on your baby. Do we have a baby here? Oh, oh, Robbie. All right. Okay, let me just do this thing. All right. Do the truck shuffle. Sit over there, I need to do the truffle shuffle. 
to throw all of these remotes out the window. Hello, this is Grandma H Tech, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. I have so many remotes for my TVs, and half of them won't work. I have a remote control for the TV, a remote for my cable box, a remote for my sound bar, and this remote, which I have no idea what it's for. I'm about to throw all of these remotes out the window. Before I get started, I ask you to please click that like button. It tells you to YouTube that this video is meaningful to you. If you have ever been frustrated with trying to fix your remote control for your TV, then give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'm not going to waste any more of my time trying to fix my TV, so I reached out to Robbie Strike to help me. Robbie specializes in cable TV system, cable boxes, satellite receivers, and anything to do with your TV. I put the link down to his channel below. And now here is Robbie to help me with my problem. Hello, Grandma Hates Tech. The most common reason the remote doesn't work are that the batteries may be dead. So check the batteries, make sure they're working. One thing you can do is hold your remote. A lot of the remotes will light up like that so make and also make sure that you have it in the right mode so on this remote it says TV cable and a um, bunch of different things so a big reason why their TV remotes won't work is it's just switched to the wrong mode so make sure you have it on TV mode and then you can change your TV and, and it will light a lot of them will light up like this one another thing you want to do is make sure you have a clear path so you don't have anything blocking your TV uh, nothing in front of your remote. Uh, for example, make sure you have no objects in front of your TV that may be blocking the sensor on the TV. That can cause your remote not to work. That's been a very common problem I've encountered when I've helped people. Clear any dust or debris that may be covering the eye, which is like the front part 
of your remote control. Try reprogramming the remote. Now, if you still have the manual, it'll have the codes and the instructions on how to set these things. Uh, sometimes it's the case of you uh, go through a setting and you just hit the button until it turns off your TV and then you hit the hit press on it and set it. It's as simple as that. Uh, so try reprogramming your remote. Uh, most of the time the TV setting on your actual TV remote will work. Also try the buttons in front in the front of your receiver. So if your receiver make sure it is on and make sure that you can change channels like from maybe channel 3 to channel 7 just go up through those channels because most of the cable box and satellite boxes will have a button where you can select the channels on the actual receiver so make sure you got that part set up right make sure you got the correct port so you if you have it in for example HDMI port 1 make sure you got HDMI port 1 selected when you and now to do that you would simply Find the source button on your remote control. Most remotes have a, for your TVs, have a button that says source, and you will press that, and it should show you HDMI 1, uh, AV settings, and all those different settings. Hopefully that helps you, uh, Grandma, getting your TV working again. I hope you get it working and set up so you can sit there with Hercules and uh, enjoy your beer and watch your hockey game. Uh, and have a great night and I hope more people watch your channel and people watch my channel please subscribe to Grandma Hates Tech uh, I think you'll enjoy a lot of her videos thanks to Robbie after listening to all those tips my remote control now works I put a link down below to Robbie's channel go check him out I found his information to be very useful I am glad I now have my TV remote working now I can watch all my sports channels again. If this video was useful to you in any way, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Don't go just yet. I have these other videos that I made just for you. So please check them out. Watching my videos and subscribing really helps me out. So please click on either of these videos which I have created just for you. I know you will like and enjoy them. This is what it would look like if adults acted like toddlers.
are going to do an unboxing video. Let's see what's in the box. Ah! It's a snake! Oh no, no, snake! Ah! 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 I'm biting my face! Ah! Oh no, a snake! Ah! Ah! It's time now for the antenna show, yeah. Good day, we're gonna talk about the Antop antenna, amplified indoor outdoor antenna. This one, this is actually a really good, good one if you're in an apartment or you're gonna take an antenna camp uh, with a camper because uh, it will pack up easily and uh, you set, it, set up easy. So we'll do the uh, unboxing of this. The box here, it has some pictures of the network channels you can get. It says 4K. 8K, 1080p. The antenna really doesn't make much difference on that. That's really up to your TV and your TV tuner. Now, this video is being recorded in August of 2022 as technology changes. Also, uh, there is, if you wanna buy this, there is affiliate links in the description below. Now, I do make a commission off this and this is a, um, I guess what you call a sponsored video. Uh, Antop has sent me this antenna to review. Uh, so for full disclosure on that, but I'd like to compare this to the, my antenna that I've been using before. So we'll give that a comparison. So, let's take a look here, we'll open it up here. We'll get the antenna to see how much stuff's gonna fall under the box here. There it is. Pull that out here. And there's more things in the box as well. Here, I'll start with the antenna. We'll take that apart here. Here we go, it's the Antop, the big boy. Um, it's actually bigger than my current antenna, which is a um, an HD360 antenna. It is a directional antenna. All right, so you can see where you attach the cable up to it and uh, where the bracket is for you to put it on a post or whatever, there'll be more accessories for that. And it also has the connections for the VHF, um, the VHF uh, elements so that uh, it will reach out and get the VHF stations. In my area, I get about two VHF channels. Power supply, which will probably go into uh, the adapter. That's the one thing with a lot of antennas is you need to have them plugged in. Here is the VHF elements. There is uh, a big roll of cable. This is RG6U, but it do I don't see it saying quad shield and it feels a little thinner than what quad shield would be, but some people argue that they uh, use quad shield. I've used uh, basically a, a, a cord that came with my antenna, which was definitely not quad shield, um, but it still worked. Might get a little bit better uh, marginal performance if you did have a better cable. So this is the power supply. It has a little run, a little pass here. Oh, and then this thing here, it's the cable here on these adapters for the amplifier is very, very like, um, headphone wire thin. Uh, here's the stand if you want to help keep it inside your house. There's some manuals in here too. Let's we'll dump this right out. There we go. All right. All right, you're gonna get uh, refresh your feed. There's a little there's some documentation on this. Keep your channels. Keep your cache sling and an top for like a sling promotion thing i don't think they have slinging here in canada i don't really care about anything um paying for tv i like my free stuff manual there first off here let's take a look at this so for you people that might want a really good indoor antenna i've been in the same situation with an apartment building it does have a stand just fit 
on there. And that's the nice thing. If you are an apartment, uh, live in an apartment or whatever, and you, or you have a balcony, and you just kind of want to put this thing out, or you have a camper and you just want to set it up easily, my recommendation is put it on a post or a pole or some masting. Uh, these things here, I can be like Mr. Wilson here hiding behind my antenna. Hey, North Coaster Hobby. I'm not showing my face. How's that? Ah. <laughs> Who's the other YouTuber, that a video creator that doesn't show his face? Uh, Oddity Archive. Yeah, it's like an episode of the Oddity Archive. All right. There's this thing in my jigger here. It's a VHF element. And blue, 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 blue. Sticking to my finger. Here, I'll stick it to the tail. All right, there you go. Look at me! I have an on top antenna growing out of my head. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, you're not really interested in a TV antenna, but maybe you're looking like for a drum. That will do too. And uh, you don't need to have these VHF elements in if you don't need want them. But in my area, like it all depends on your area. If you have VHF, most areas are going to have a few VHF channels that are real legacy channels that are that would be available. But we're going to hook this, hook this big boy up. Hook up the big boy. We're going to hook you up and use you and watch some television shows. We're going to watch me TV. We're going to watch the Andy Griffith Show. We're going to watch Friday Night Smackdown. Yeah. Okay. All right. This was the antenna show. So this is the amplifier. It actually sends a signal up through the cable so that you'll be able to um, uh, send the signal to the antenna. So the idea of this is you leave this inside your house and the power will actually run through the wire up to the antenna and then there's an amplifier in there that will um, uh, uh, help tune the signal. Tune the signal, I don't know, I, it will uh, amplify the signal at the antenna's end. All right, I just wanna say I put the end top in, just in my window and this is like the lower level of my house and I am able to get about five channels. I know I'll get a lot more if I put it outside and uh, high above the roof level, but I am impressed that this antenna is able to pull in the uh, at least five channels and probably if I rain moved it around I get more channels but uh, with my rooftop antenna I can get at least 40 channels so I'll, I'll definitely test it out there I just wanted to see how it would work in this environment being at a lower level and it was still able to get um, my local channel with news so one thing I'm impressed with is I'm able to get WPBS at a Watertown, New York, and I'm getting about 52%. And that's with like the antenna on my, on my, uh, in my basement. Fasten the end top to uh, a masting pole. You just use the wing nuts here, secure it on. Just that one wing nut holds it on pretty securely. This thing does have some weight to it, so poles like this you might not want to go much. Maybe three, maybe four, but you know they'll, they'll be a little bit flimsy at that point. So this would be a great solution for. A, uh, if you have a camper where you want to take this down and put it back up real pretty quick it doesn't take very long to uh, to assemble and tear down and put, put, put back up so like for a camper Woo. so it's great if you're gonna turn your antenna and you want to get signals from a different direction so you just grab your pull grab your pole here and you turn your antenna Woo! and you can get better signal. Easy to set up, that's, that's what we like, we like around here. Something easy, you don't wanna have to, if you don't have, uh, if you don't have any friends to help you put up a tower, uh, you can just uh, do this all by yourself. I did, did this all by myself, took about half an hour. And most of the amount of time I spent was uh, trying to get one of these little nubby things from the land of awful to get into the other hole so I can, uh, so I can put it in together and make it hold. So that was like pretty much the thing, it that's how, this is actually the thing that took the longest on the pole. But once it's set up, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you, you should be good to go.
There, I put the Antop antenna on the tower, and I have a few antennas on my tower. I have a, a satellite dish, and I have the antenna, and up here I have the MLA I use for picking up shortwave. The antenna I've been using for TV over the years is this uh, HD 360 antenna craft antenna, and it's a directional antenna. I do get channels from Syracuse. I wasn't able to get some of the Syracuse channels, but I went on this one, but I also, I do not have it as high. So that could be a factor. All right, so I put the end top up here. It's not as high as my other antenna, but I have a knee injury, so I didn't want to go climbing right now. But I do have it on these, on, um, on some poles. So it gives me the ability to turn, uh, do what I wanted to do with this antenna is be able to turn the antenna from this pole here to be able to get an optimum signal. If you don't have a router and you don't want to go through all the expense of that, you can do this. And with the HD home run, I can just look on my, uh, on my, on my computer and see the signal quality as I turn the antenna. One thing I will say is uh, with this setup, I'm not getting as many channels as, as uh, the antenna on the top of the tower because obviously it's higher and it's got a clear, clear line of sight. So I am getting channels from uh, Syracuse that I'm not, haven't been able to pick up with this antenna. But uh, I am impressed that it worked so well indoors. I was able to get channel uh, uh, channel 11 and, ch and PBS. So I was able to pick up over the air channels using my HD home run and see the signal quality. Channel 11 CKWS came in 100% on both antennas. Um, the VHF was a little bit lower with the Antop, but also mind you, my antenna, my other directional antenna is about 10 or 15 feet higher up on the pole and it is a, a directional Yagi compared to a flat antenna. And I was able to get channel 24, which has about seven or eight sub channels, which includes antenna TV and grit and sub channels like that. Uh, PBS, which has about four channels. I was able to get that uh, pretty reliably. Uh, the the uh, signal quality was a little bit lower, but it still was coming in. And channel 50, which is uh, comes in pretty strong. It, well, it's channel 31, but it scans it as channel 50. ABC and Laugh TV and all those channels that are on this. My directional Yagi antenna was able to pick up a few extra channels because of it being higher up and it being a directional antenna where you can focus in on a, on, on a particular spot, particularly for my area. Uh, my area, you kind of need a directional antenna to pick up channels. And that's one thing I wish Antop did have is a directional Yagi antenna because that's probably the antenna that would actually perform a lot better in my area. But if you're just looking for an antenna that will perform decently and is as portable as the Antop big boy is for your camp or whatever, just so you can get the local channels, it pulls it in pretty stable and reliably. So for channels seven and 11, which will come in 100% in my area, uh, and that's usually the channels that I go to for news and local programming. Yeah, for my for my particular needs in my area, I definitely would need a directional Yagi antenna and not a flat antenna. If you don't want to have a giant arrow, you know, big, big arrow um, Yagi type antenna pointed on, on your roof, yeah, and you just want your local channels, but be able to pick it up better than an indoor antenna, this definitely would be the antenna for you. This speed bump is the speed bump of doom. <laughs> See that? Oh God. <laughs> ah! and my Facebook page, Robbie Strike Videos. Please go there, like, follow, share, subscribe, share the videos there with all your friends, because doing so will make you go from this. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 To this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Yeah!